John Bon Jovi helps distraught woman to step away from ledge of Nashville Bridge. Rock legend John Bon Jovi has been captured on camera helping to persuade a distraught woman to step away from the ledge of a bridge in Nashville. The U.S. singer was reportedly filming a video for his band's track The People's House on the John Sigan Baylor pedestrian bridge when the woman was spotted on the other side of the railings. CCTV footage, shared by local police, shows the Bon Jovi frontman and woman walking down the middle of the bridge on Tuesday evening. They then slowly approach the distressed woman before the singer leans on the railings and appears to begin talking to her. The woman Bon Jovi was walking with is seen stroking the person's back as they encourage her to come back to safety. They are then seen helping the woman to climb back over the railings. Bon Jovi then embraces her as they stand together for around a minute before walking back down the bridge together. The Metropolitan Nashville Police Department shared the video on its YouTube channel and said the singer had helped a distraught woman. In a post on the X social media platform, The Force wrote, a shout out to it John Bon Jovi and his team for helping a woman on the Sykin Baylor Ped Bridge Tuesday night. Bon Jovi helped persuade her to come off the ledge over the Cumberland River to safety. The singer's JBJ Soul Foundation offers support to people struggling with homelessness and hunger, with the 62-year music icon reported to have extensive training in speaking to people in crisis. Former model and Miss Switzerland finalist pureed in Blender by Husband A former model who was a finalist in the Miss Switzerland contest was allegedly murdered and pureed in a blender by her husband, officials in Switzerland are reported to have said. Christina Joksimovic, 38 years old, was found dead in her home in Binningen, near Basel, Switzerland, in February this year. According to local news outlet BZ Basel, a man named Thomas, 41 years old, who is a Swiss national, had an appeal for release from custody denied by the federal court in Lausanne on Friday after he reportedly confessed to killing his wife, with whom he had two children. The outlet said he had admitted to the killing during a crime reconstruction in March and claimed it was in self-defense after she attacked him with a knife. BZ Basel said the ruling from the court held Ms. Joksimovic was strangled to death. An autopsy report included in the ruling said Ms. Joksimovic's body was then dismembered in a laundry room with a jigsaw, knife, and garden shears. It added body parts were then chopped up with a hand blender, pureed, and dissolved in a chemical solution. Thomas was arrested the day after Ms. Joksimovic's body was found and initially told investigators he had found her dead and dismembered her body in their laundry room in panic. Ms. Joksimovic was crowned Miss Northwest Switzerland pageant and in 2007 was a finalist for Miss Switzerland. She later ran her own business as a catwalk coach and mentored model Dominique Rinderknecht for the Miss Universe pageant in 2013. Royal Navy warship intercepts narco sub for first time. A Royal Navy warship has intercepted a so-called narco sub, seizing cocaine with a street value of $210 million. HMS Trent discovered the vessel 190 nautical miles south of the Dominican Republic while working alongside the U.S. Coast Guard and a U.S. Maritime Patrol aircraft. The Navy said 2,000 kilograms of cocaine was seized on August 26 as it was being trafficked across the Caribbean Sea, bringing HMS Trent's Hall of Narcotics during eight drugs busts and seven months of operations to nearly $986 million. It is the first time a Royal Navy warship has intercepted a narco submarine. Two people were detained and 12 bales of cocaine seized after a high-speed nighttime pursuit. The semi-submersible vessels are used by drug smugglers and sit low in the water to evade detection. Some are even fully submersible. A Royal Navy spokesman said the drugs bust, which involved Royal Marines from 47 Commando and Specialist Sailors, came just 72 hours after Trent's last successful haul in which 462 kilograms of cocaine worth $49 million was seized. 
Portsmouth-based HMS Trend has now seized 9,459 kilograms of drugs during its operations, beating HMS Argyle as the best hunter of smugglers in the Royal Navy this century. The ship's commanding officer Commander Tim Langford said this latest seizure reinforces the utility of the Royal Navy's offshore patrol vessels, adding the semi-submersible was rarely seen in the Caribbean. A spokesman for the Royal Navy said, these successful interceptions disrupt transnational criminal organizations, TCO, and underscore the Royal Navy's vital role in maintaining maritime security and upholding international law both at home and abroad. This role is more important than ever with the flow of drugs to Europe and the UK, where an estimated 117 tons is consumed per year, grows significantly. HMS Trent, which has 50 specialists in disaster relief operations on board, will now continue patrols in the Caribbean to support British overseas territories during hurricane season. The ship recently also visited the British Virgin Islands, making repairs on the island of Tortola after Tropical Storm Ernesto passed through the region. Dave Grohl admits becoming the father to a baby born outside of my marriage. Foo Fighters singer Dave Grohl, well known for his reputation as the nicest guy in rock, has admitted becoming the father to a baby born outside of my marriage. The former Nirvana drummer, 55 years old, said he plans to be a loving and supportive parent to his new daughter in an Instagram post on Tuesday. I've recently become the father of a new baby daughter, born outside of my marriage. I plan to be a loving and supportive parent to her. I love my wife and my children, and I am doing everything I can to regain their trust and earn their forgiveness. We're grateful for your consideration toward all the children involved as we move forward together. Dave, he wrote in the post. Grohl's publicist told the singer would be offering no further comment beyond the statement. The rocker has been married to director Blum since 2003. Grohl, who shares three daughters with his wife of more than 20 years Jordan Blum, said he loves his family and is doing everything I can to regain their trust and earn their forgiveness. He played drums in the pioneering grunge band Nirvana from 1990 until 1994 when lead singer Kurt Cobain took his own life aged 27. Grohl went on to form Foo Fighters and has scored a number of chart-topping albums including their most recent effort, 2023's But Here We Are. France's First Lady, Bridget Macron makes Emily in Paris cameo. France's First Lady Bridget Macron has made a cameo appearance in the hit Netflix series Emily in Paris. Season 4 sees Emily, played by Lily Collins, the daughter of British pop star Phil Collins, head off to Rome for new adventures. Mrs. Macron, 71 years old, who taught drama to the now French President Emmanuel Macron when they first met at his secondary school, features in episode 7, which was released on Thursday. In the scene, Emily is seen approaching Mrs. Macron in a restaurant to ask her for a selfie. Brushing aside her security guard, the First Lady is happy to oblige and says, Emily, it's you. She then tells her friends, I follow her on Instagram. After Emily says how much she adores France, Mrs. Macron replies, and my country loves you, Emily. Emily then takes a photo of herself, her friend Genevieve and Mrs. Macron, and adds the hashtags hashtag first ladies who lunch and hashtag make it iconic, a slogan from President Macron's drive to attract foreign investors to France. The program, which is centered on a Chicago woman called Emily Cooper who moves to the French capital, was Netflix's most watched show in 2020. However, as well as loyal fans it has also attracted plenty of critics for portraying a stereotypical image of Paris. Collins told Elle magazine, which first reported the cameo, that the idea for Mrs. Macron's guest appearance came about after she and the show's creator Darren Starr met the First Lady at the Elysee Palace in December 2022. Collins told Elle, she is a big fan of the show and took the mention of her in season one with great humor. 
This scene in season four is a wink, and shooting with her was both an honor and a real joy. Discussing her performance, the actress added that Mrs. Macron had great talent. Netflix told the news agency AFP that the First Lady wore her own clothes in the fashion-centric show, with no particular instructions given to her by show bosses. While Collins has said Mrs. Macron asked to appear in the show, the Elysee has reportedly briefed media outlets in France that the request came from the show's producers. It is not Mrs. Macron's first venture into the world of TV. She appeared briefly in a French comedy series about two disabled swimmers titled Vestiaires, which translates as Changing Room back in 2018. Earlier this year, French production company Gaumont announced it was creating a series about Mrs. Macron's life called Bridget, Un Femme Libre. The six-part series, which will air in 2025, traces the romantic trajectory of the First Lady, according to the show's synopsis. Wanted, the new Harry Potter, Ron and Hermione for TV adaptation. The hunt for the next Harry Potter, Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger is on after HBO opened casting for the TV adaptation of the blockbuster movie franchise. The open casting call was confirmed by the studio to Variety after the announcement was published online by Cast It Talent. Producers said they were looking for children living in the UK and Ireland who would be aged between 9 and 11 in April next year. The search for the heirs to Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, Rupert Grint, and the rest of the stars of the original films will be inclusive to all races, ethnicities and gender identities, they said. Hopefuls must send two videos, with the first being a short poem or story of your choosing which can be taken from a favorite book, a monologue of a play you love or something you've created yourself. Recording on a phone is great, but please, the announcement said, nothing from Harry Potter. Candidates should use the second video to provide some personal details including a bit about yourself, as well as date of birth, height, and where they live. Plus, they must describe any family member, friend or pet they are particularly close to. The first should be no more than 30 seconds, the second a minute maximum and both should be in your own accent. The deadline for sending in the videos is October 31st. When the new series was announced last year, Max, a streaming service from Warner Brothers, promised it would feature a new cast to lead a new generation of fandom, full of fantastic detail, much-loved characters and dramatic locations that Harry Potter fans have loved for over 25 years. The shows would be authentic to the original books with the films at the core of the franchise.